Oh my lord, what have I just witnessed? Yo, so guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see by the title, it's a huge day for us Englishmen. Um, I haven't done any other videos on the England games, as I just didn't fancy doing them. But today, the amazing scoreline of us beating Germany 2-0, I thought I had to make a video. I wear my balance shirt because I put my England shirt in the wash like an idiot. But yeah, I'm making this video to talk about England's 2-0 win over Germany. If you are new, I am normally a Barnes and Vlogger, but I'm doing this video for England. So if you are new, please like and subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. Let's talk about what I've just witnessed. Obviously, England getting to um, the round of 16, expected from the group that we're in. We won the group, obviously, uh, beating Czech, beating Croatia, drawing with um, Scotland. Should have done videos and all them, but I didn't do it. We ended up playing Germany. We finished first, they finished second. We obviously played second in the deaf group. And, um, yeah, we come up against Germany today. A very, very tough game. We changed the five at back. A lot, a lot of scrutiny towards that guy Southgate for that, but it worked out perfectly. Our side of the draw now, now we beat these, obviously we go on to play the winner of Sweden, Ukraine, which kicks off very soon, and then either Denmark or Czech. So on paper, we've got a very realistic draw. This is one of England's best chances ever to win the Euros. If we want to do it, we've got to do it this year, especially with the likes of Netherlands and France being knocked out. We came into this game with our five at the back. We had um, three centre halves of Kyle Walker, John Stone, and Harry Maguire. I thought were exceptional marking there from three. They had Havertz, Werner, and Muller. We kept them from three quiet, except a couple of occasions. We had Luke Short left wing back, which I weren't too sure about, but it ended up being an exceptional decision. And Kieran Trippier, who I think is one of our best full backs, a right wing back. And we played with the two CDMs of Declan Rice and um, Calvin Phillips, a Leeds player. What a guy he is, what a player he stepped up to be in this England team. And then the front three of Kane down the middle, Sterling left, who was man of the match by a mile, and then Saka on the right. I were like a lot of other England fans before this game. I wasn't too happy with that team, thinking that we should play our own tactics. We shouldn't change to adapt to Germany. We've kept a clean sheet till now. Why can't we keep a clean sheet using our own tactics? But the five at the back worked well. Uh, our wing backs stopped their wing backs. Goosen and Kimmich, they didn't get much of the ball. Uh, Goosen's is a very good player from what I've seen. Obviously, at his club and coming into this international tournament. Kieran Trippier kept him to quiet. Walker, man, Mac, Werner in the middle. He had one um, chance in the first half where Jordan Pickford pulled off a great save. Uh, great tournament from Jordan Pickford. And um, Harry Maguire and John Stones, exceptional at the back. Another clean sheet. As for the goal, Sterling ran him ragged. Kane thought he was injured, but obviously Sterling went and got the goal. Obviously Sterling played it into Kane. Nice hold up from play from Kane. Laid off to Grealish, who changed the game when he come on. Jack Grealish, he has to start next game. Laid off to Grealish, who... Give doubt to the wing back Shaw, who I thought were great today. They're all great. I'm going to praise them all. Then Shaw whipped it in. Sterling near post by Neuer. Oh, it was beautiful, beautiful sight. I didn't go out to watch it, but in my household, it was absolutely buzzing. As I know it will have been for you guys, wherever you were at home. Poor boy, if you were somehow at the game. After that, they had a great chance where they did. Um, Havertz had a volley where Pickford tipped it over a bar. Another great save from Jordan Pickford. I think his shot stopping and his kicking is absolutely exceptional. And then um, John Stones won every single header I saw. Declan Rice, I thought, were fantastic. They're all good. I'm just going to praise them all. And then for a second goal, obviously, they came around. Ball through to Jack Grealish. Um, just dinked it over to Harry Kane. Harry Kane bent his head in a very weird angle, but managed to head it into the back of the net past Manuel Neuer to put us 2-0 up against Germany. The history and the past that we've had against these, to come away with a 2 0 win, to have the bragging rights for once, to finally get one over them, is absolutely exceptional. And the reason why I'm making this video was to do a quick little video on it obviously like i say we do play sweden or ukraine next which on paper is a very very realistic game so as long as we take that properly don't look at it it's too easy set our focus on it don't look to the semi-final because obviously the next game like i say against sweden or ukraine will be away in rome then the semi-final and final will be at wembley if we get that far so as long as we're not looking too far don't be looking at the semi-final don't be expecting to be back at wembley concentrate on this next game no matter what team it is and I think we can go far. I think we can do it. Um, obviously, like I say, Southgate's got a lot of scrutiny over the five at the back. But it worked today. He got his tactics right. Um, we haven't conceded a goal. That's what matters. We picked the goals off up front, bit by bit. Going two today, which was great. Sterling, three goals this tournament. What a player. And then, um, obviously, the, the, the back four usually but the back five today and the two sitting in front have been exceptional i apologize this video is short i've also got a new another video today for the barnes a new manager so if you are new and you're not a barnsley fan if you could subscribe the match day vlogs will be back for the barnsley if you like to watch match day vlogs 
they usually are good. So if you want to subscribe and watch them, that'd be great. Thank you for watching. Come on, England, and I'll be making another video for the quarterfinals. So, yeah, let's hope we can get through and win that. Come on, England.